Hi, springtime again here in Maine, and we're in the cornfield. Yeah, it's about time we get out in the cornfields again. My favorite place to hunt. Here, here the uh, geese down by the river. New piles over there. The Garrett AT Pro. Our first find of the day. Look at that. Look at that beautiful white musket ball. How awesome is that? This is an old site. Dates back uh, at least to the early 1800s, maybe even earlier. And uh, that's a good start for the day. All right. See you at the next. Sorry for any wind noise in my video. There's not much I can do about it today. Um, it seems to be a trend today. That trend would be it's a musket ball kind of day. Let's see if we can get a, this thing to focus for you. There we go. On to the next. I can't quite make out a date on that. I don't know if you guys can. That's an awesome find. Alright, we got me a flat button out here in the windy cornfield. And it's an old one. Good looking one though. Nice patina to it. That's where the shank went. Bust it off. Awesome. All right, we've got one in the hole, it's fairly deep. Showing like a 5960 and I can see it. It's right there, look at that huge little flat button. Nice one, awesome. Hey, that one's got the shank intact too, look at that, it's still on there. That's a big ass button right there. Can't tell if there's any design on it. Looks like there might be a little bit, I see a little bit of design. On to the next. All right, we've been getting a lot of buttons. I haven't even uh, recorded all, all of them that I've gotten. And we got another one, another flat button. They've all been flat buttons, the older ones. And this one's got a broken shank and no design on it. On to the next. All right, here is the signal of the day. 86, 87, right on the nose. That glare, you're probably having a hard time seeing that. Alright, we're going to try to do this live if we can. Good news, it's about the depth that the AT Pro says it is. So it's probably a coin size object. Seated on silver, anything silver. I'll even take a large set. Oh, looky here! Get a large set. All right, it's a thick one. All right, we'll clean her up a little bit here. See what we got. Awesome. Made my day right there. See if there's any detail coming through. All right, got some eagles flying around up there. And today is an awesome day. Uh, we got another large set. It was ringing just like the other one, and it was deep. Uh, this is how deep it was. Oh, eight inches, easy. It should be an easy target for the AT Pro. But uh, variety we got here, I don't know. I'll have to clean her up at home and see. Awesome, two large sets, same day. Let's see if we can get a trifecta now. All right, uh, got another flat button. We've gotten a ton of these. I'm not showing all the flat button digs, but this one has a design on it. Let's see if we can 
Switch over to macro, see if we can get that to focus. Still trying to figure out this camera. Come on, baby. Oh, well, it's not going to focus. I'll try to get a good picture of it, and you'll see it in the wrap-up. But it does have a design on it. All right, we're back again. Another, another flat button. This one's got a design too. I guess I'll, I'll start just showing the ones that I think are really nice. It's got like that French, uh, I don't know what it's called, that French emblem on it. It's a larger button. That last button was a cuff button. This one's more like a coat button. Awesome. I love getting buttons with designs on them. Especially if they're military. I don't know if this one is or not. All right, another big surprise here, another flat button, big coat button. This one has a design or I wouldn't have even bothered to film it after all the buttons I've uh, dug out of here. Awesome. 